This next exercise will teach you how to keep the chest lifted and open. Too often because we're at the computer all day or we're driving or cooking or <laughs> playing golf, the shoulders cave in. And when the shoulders cave in, the upper, the upper back starts to curve forward a little bit too much and it tends to stay in that position. So we really need to open that up so that you have this nice open area in the shoulders. It makes the shoulders wider and it, it gives you much better posture, of course, but also it's going to give you more room when you create the swing. I tell people all the time in the Pilates studio that if you're trying to do an exercise and you're here, your body just doesn't have the room to move because your joints are in the way. So we're going to open up and make some room here. So you're going to take your hand in a little L shape like this and you're going to put the thumb on your breastbone and your finger underneath your chin. From there, keep the chin attached to the finger as you lift the chest to go back as far as you can. Lift the chest, lift the chest, and come back down. And again, inhale here to lengthen. Keep the chin attached to the finger. And again, lift and come back down. And lift and come back down. Inhale here and exhale back and inhale here and exhale back. Let's do two more. Inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and come back to center. Now remember center is straight up and down. You're probably going to want to find a mirror to find center because again most of us live here so we think this is center. So find a mirror, make sure you're centered, and you may feel, when you're centered and in a neutral spine position, you may feel like you are lifting, even though you're exactly in neutral. I want you to try that one out for me in front of a mirror.